Hello everyone, welcome to another Daz Beginners tutorial. Um, if you're new with this series, be sure to check out my earlier videos on how to create a character as well as how to set up your first scene. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I do tutorials pretty frequently. So hit the subscribe button to make sure that you never miss one of my new videos. So today, I'm going to continue my beginner series a series by showing you how to further customize your character. So I've already got my character created in this scene. Um, I've got my hair, materials, and my clothing all in place. I'm using the Alithia 8 figure. As always, I'll, I'll drop a link to that in the description below uh, if you want to download this figure in particular. And I'm going to show you how to get further customizations on the body and face of your character. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your character is selected either in the scene or in the scene hierarchy. So you can either double click your character to select the whole thing or you can go up here and select your character that way, whichever you choose. And once you have your character selected, um, I'm going to go under my Alithia 8 in the scene hierarchy, and we're going to go under the actor uh, section. And we're going to start with full body. So I'm going to expand that. Actually, you can just click the full body to get a whole list of body tutorials on the right. Now, you may have more options or fewer options than I have over here, depending on some of the third party plugins as well as some of the figures that you have installed. Uh, for instance, uh, you might notice that I have some controls over here that are named after certain characters, like I've got Raquel Body, uh, Diane Teen Body, and you can actually use these sliders to apply a morph to your character. For instance, I have a character named Absinthe, and you can use the Absinthe slider, right now it's set at 0%, to give your character more of an Absinthe body. And the cool thing that you can do with these is you can actually blend them together. Like I can bump up the Absinthe slider up a little bit and you can see her change in real time. And any of these sliders, I can do the same thing. Addie is a child character, so it's making her a lot shorter whenever I apply that one. But again, you can add as much or as little of each of these sliders as you want in order to make your character look more or less like these other figures. And if I scroll down to the Alithia slider, you'll notice that she'll be at 100% for that body type because that is the character that I'm using. There she is, so she's at 100%. So if I move that all the way down, it just turns into a, uh, a Genesis 8, uh, generic Genesis 8 figure, which is what Alithia is based on. So if I move that down, then you can see her body change that way as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back up to where it was. So in addition to doing that, you can also have uh, precise control over different parts of her body. Like for instance, uh, let me close full body and let's go down to uh, let's do waist. So you can do all of these controls, uh, you know, navel, love handles, um, navel size. Uh, so lots and lots of different things that you can have control over if you want to. Again, depending upon the uh, different add-ons that you have installed, you might have more or less of these. All right, um, let's close that. All right, let's close that up and let's go to head. And I'm going to go to people. And here we can do, similar to what we did with the body type, is we can apply different characters' head morphs to this character. So if, uh, let me go down to my uh, Alithia head just so you can see what she looks like without her own morph applied. There we go. So if I move that all the way down, you can see her face change into the generic Genesis 8 figure. Uh, so whenever you use these sliders, you can get some weird effects sometimes, so you have to play with them a lot to find out something that you like. For instance, uh, Emilio is an Asian character, so if I... It looks a little bit weird if I use both of those sliders, but if I bring the Alithia 8 slider all the way down, there we go, now it's starting to look like that character. It looks, uh, it looks a lot more natural. And then, just like the uh, body controls, you have different controls like ears, eyes, uh, different things. Like I've, I've got um, fantasy morphs as well. Like, I've got like kind of a Bride of Frankenstein. I've got a zombie girl. So different things that you can apply. Or uh, if you just want to go to like eyes. And again, you can play with all of these and just find out whatever you like. I could I could lose hours just messing around with the uh, with the different morph options. 
And once you have all of those um, set how you like them, then you can use uh, the um, save controls like we used in the previous video where I showed you how to save your character. You can do that and it will save the morph with your character so you can recall this character later. Um, oh, here's a, a fun one. I've got elf ears that I can do. It's kind of difficult to see with the hair, but yeah, so I've got you know several different fantasy morphs. But again, just more different ways that you can customize your character to uh, to, to make them your own and uh, get the exact look that you're going for. Uh, that will about do us for this one. This is a quick one. Again, just uh, different character morphs that you can play around with. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you got something out of this video and check the description where I've listed some ways that you can support me either for free or monetarily. And I'll also put a link to the Alithia 8 figure, great figure that I like to use a whole lot. So be sure to check those out and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.